Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna break down whether or not the Security Plus certification is enough to get your first entry-level job in cybersecurity in 2024. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, my name is Ben. And I've been working in cybersecurity for almost a year now as a cybersecurity analyst. And on this channel, I make videos about my experiences and my journey throughout the industry. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also be sure to like this video as it helps out my channel and the YouTube algorithm. If you want to check out some more short form content and more lifestyle content, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. So the first thing I want to talk about is the current job market in cybersecurity. So right now, as you may know, it's going to be extremely competitive for people to find entry level jobs in cybersecurity because there's so many different people looking to break into the industry. And on top of that, the employers are also demanding a pretty high barrier of entry when it comes to certifications, when it comes to experience, even for entry level roles. So because of the fact that you have high competition and high barrier of entry from employers, it's going to be extremely hard for you to break into the industry with just the security plus on your resume now in the past the security plus certification held a lot of value and weight but because of the things that i mentioned before it's going to be so difficult for you to land a job with just the security plus certification on your resume so the security plus certification is still extremely important to get especially if you're someone looking to break into the industry it's going to be a perfect place for you to start but the reason why it doesn't hold as much value anymore it's not only because the barrier of entry with employers is higher but it's also because the security plus certification itself is a a demonstration of your understanding of a bunch of foundational concepts in cybersecurity. So the Security Plus tests you on a wide range of topics in cybersecurity, but it doesn't go in depth at all. And the reason why that can be a hindrance when it comes to applying for cybersecurity jobs is that the Security Plus is so wide and it covers a wide range of topics. And a lot of times these job openings in cybersecurity are gonna be hiring for specific roles and niches in cybersecurity that the Security Plus doesn't even cover or doesn't go in depth. And that's why employers are looking for more experience and more advanced level certifications than just the security plus on top of that the security plus is known to be a theoretical exam where it's multiple choice and doesn't actually teach you any hands-on skills which is one of the other reasons why the security plus may be not enough for 2024 employers now just to expand on just talking about the security plus certification a lot of employers right now in the current job market are looking for hands-on experience rather than just certifications like the security plus and what I mean by this is that entry-level job postings are looking for applicants that have some form of hands-on experience like internship experience hackathon and ctf experience and then also maybe some it related work experience so having that background and some professional experience on your resume is going to make you stand apart from other applicants just the security plus certification on their resume and to go a little bit deeper on certifications, a lot of employers nowadays, especially for entry level roles, are looking for more specialized certifications than just the Security Plus certification. So, for example, if you're looking for a SOC analyst role or a red teaming penetration testing role that's entry level, more than likely, in order to set you up for success, you might want to look into some more advanced level certifications that specialize in those niches in cybersecurity. So, an example of this could be if you're looking to become a SOC analyst, maybe looking into the Blue Team Level 1 certification, or if you want to become a red Red team or a penetration tester, maybe looking into the PJPT and adding those to your resume will make you stand out so much more from someone with just the Security Plus certification. And lastly, one underrated skill that seems to be overlooked in the cybersecurity industry is going to be your interviewing skills and your soft skills. So no matter how many certifications you have, whether you have a security plus, whether you have a bunch of more advanced level certifications, if you don't have soft skills and you don't have interviewing skills, you're not going to be able to get any entry level job in cybersecurity. When companies are interviewing for these entry level roles, they're going to be looking out for soft skills just as much as they are looking for technical skills. And what I mean by this is that these companies are going to be looking out for different soft skills and your skill level at them. So for example, they're going to be looking at your communication skills, so how well you're able to articulate and share your thoughts. They're going to be looking at your teamwork skills, so how well you're going to be able to adapt and work with others. They're going to see if you're a cultural fit with the company and see if your values align with theirs. And then lastly, they're going to get a gauge of your problem solving and critical thinking skills. So while you're studying for different certifications and you're getting your technical skills sharper, make sure you do not neglect your soft skills and make sure you also practice interviewing for these cybersecurity interviews for these entry-level jobs. 
So overall, I'd say the Security Plus certification is not enough to get an entry-level cybersecurity job in 2024. The barrier of entry for cybersecurity jobs in 2024 has gotten a lot higher and employers are looking for people with more experience, higher level certifications, and also good communication skills. And a lot of people who are looking to break into cybersecurity often see the Security Plus certification as the final boss and the final destination in order to get a job in cybersecurity. But right now in this current job market and this industry, you're going to have to see it as a starting point of your learning journey. So get the Security Plus certification, but don't stop there and use it as a starting point and start branching out and getting more advanced level certifications or using the Security Plus as a way for you to get some more hands-on experience in cybersecurity. So looking to leverage your Security Plus certification to get maybe your first IT role, your first internship, and therefore continuing to build your resume for eventually getting that full-time cybersecurity entry-level job. With that being said though, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed enjoyed it, please go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. Also, if you want some more short form content from me and some more lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.